hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be taking a flight in a Cessna 152 from Lynchburg to Chase City Virginia this time this is going to be episode one of the NeoFly series as you can see here on screen here's the NeoFly UI so let's go ahead and get in the aircraft and get it started up All right, here now in the cockpit. It's been a little while since I've been in a truck or an aircraft here. Glad to be back though. So go ahead and get the battery on. All right. Alternator. Go ahead and put the fuel to on. Panel lights not needed. Beacons can come on. I don't. Th we won't need to push today. Strobes. Come about a quarter inch. All right. And looks clear outside the aircraft. Bump up the mixture a little more. Prime the engine three times and still clear and since we can't open the windows no need for clear prop call out you're good to go contact the tower for clearance probably should have warned you guys about that yeah that's the voice from the fly just telling us we did everything right I just left it on for this video just to see what you guys think of it. Alright. And we'll go ahead and put on taxi lights. And let's go ahead and place the parking brake. And we can go ahead and taxi out. Right, and just a little extra power to get out of here. And we are going to be taxiing down to runway 04 today.
right now. It is around 4 o'clock, so the sun will be setting here soon. And it is a little cloudy out here today, and here comes this van. And we're just going to act like it's not there since <laughs> MSFS is a little glitchy. I'm not really sure what's loading uh, the loading icon there in the bottom right. I don't know if it's glitched or what, but it's been going just about this whole time. Anyways, still continuing our taxi down to runway 04 here. So the reason I wanted to start this Neofly series is mainly just to see different airports and to have a series here in Microsoft Flight Simulator because with my previous Microsoft Flight Sim videos it was really just Lynchburg to somewhere or for a while I was just doing airports that I had spotted at so I was really familiar with the area but I wanted to maybe spice it up a little and have some different airports like here we're headed to Chase City, Virginia. I've never been there and I've never heard of this airport before. So it'll be somewhere different to fly into. And of course I'll be asking you guys for input on future videos regarding this series. And almost to the end of the runway here, but I don't think we'll really need full length. We can honestly take this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on here. Go ahead and put flaps out for takeoff. Make sure it can go to full. Taxi lights will stay on, but we're good for just a second here. I'll check both ends of the runway to be sure that we are clear. And looks clear in both ends. So let's go ahead and get on the runway and we'll go ahead and take off. Mask can go ahead and come on as well. I meant to turn those on earlier, but it's okay. Better late than never, I guess. And we'll go ahead and add a little bit of trim. Sorry, wrong button there. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Pilot, have a nice flight. Seems the controls are a little a little too responsive here today, but still doing okay. Go ahead and make our turn here in just a second out to the right. There's Freedom Tower right there. To 
is getting high enough above these mountains here. It does seem like they may have improved the scenery here in the sim. Because this looks a lot better than the last time that I was flying over this area. There's Freedom Tower right there. And we're safe enough above the terrain so we can go ahead and make our right turn. And I'll go ahead and let you guys see the takeoff shot. Flaps can go ahead and come out. Go ahead and lean the mixture out a little bit here. And let's go ahead and take some stress off of it. Pull it out of the red there. There we go. 
And let's go ahead and make sure our pedo heat is on, which now it is. still climbing here um, so if you guys have been a part of the channel for probably the past about a month here at least um, I haven't really been posting anything and that's because I sprained my ankle um, I was in a boot for about a week and I'm still in an ankle brace, but I just didn't record anything as, well, everything that I do requires um, that left ankle. I could drive with one foot, but I still just prefer to drive with both, especially if I'm driving manual because I, well, I need both. But still in the brace and I'm doing a little better I would have uploaded plane spotting content, but I really just wanted to make sure that my ankle was in the clear and I was keeping it elevated. And then I also had to keep up with schoolwork at home, so I really just didn't want to add recording on top of all of that. And then here well, now last week, but I'm recording this the week before. You guys may have noticed that I had a lot of shorts come out last week, and that was because there was a lot of content that I was able to make shorts out of in my latest video from Tuesday of last week. And that I feel that that video is one of my best that I have made as I was thankfully able to keep the raw version of the video and not use image stabilization for that one. It wouldn't have really done too much except reduce the FPS as one of my image stabilization softwares that I use. It does reduce the quality of the video and the frames per second. I still will have more plane spotting video coming out this coming week and I have also been a little busy as when I did return to school I've had after school rehearsals for band which is pretty fun but it, every day is a little crazy and then here soon I'm hoping to keep recording but life may get in the way you know still just regarding school and such I'm still just very busy and plane spotting content I haven't recorded anything new which helps with the backlog but I'd still like to have extra just in case the airport is really slowed down as far as larger jets like 737s because of Liberty football being over and I believe that resumes again in August so we still have a little while I will be I do have one that I will be recording coming up here soon at a different airport that was requested I return to so I'm looking forward to that. But I still don't want to give too much away. And back to talking about how this, about this series, I was noticing that it just got kind of boring 
flying really on the just on the eastern coast of the United States so I'm hoping to maybe journey up north into Canada or down south um, or out west just get away from this eastern area of the US unfortunately some of the jobs that we may be taking are a little short or may keep us in this area but once we do our certifications which there are for a different engine aircraft such as this aircraft they already give you a rating but it's a very poor rating it's a rating of one star but the more you improve that rating by doing training exercises then you're able to get extra XP for leveling up and those by leveling up you unlock different jobs and you're able to unlock larger loans that you're able to take out to buy more aircraft which is fun so I'm just gonna be asking for you guys input on where we go how we do this series whether we take out loans maybe we don't take out loans um, and how quick we want to grow right now I'm gonna be in the Cessna for a little while here but not too long I'm hoping to be maybe out of the Cessna by maybe episode five but I'm just not sure yet we still have a little ways to go we're about a, th a third of the way there towards Chase City and venturing over into the American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 worlds I am subscribed to the Zmods newsletter and I noticed that he's been releasing a couple new sound that he has released a couple new sounds here lately and I've listened to technically two of them I listened to the audio framework and I listened to Oh, which one was it? It was the... The Volvo... Yes, the Volvo D13K500TC sound and engine pack, which sounds really good. I haven't listened to the others that he's put out but I'm definitely going to be on that soon, and I'm hoping to be able to record some videos using those sounds. I'm also not liking how we don't have any visibility here at all. So I'm really just having to rely heavily on our on the, tor the turn coordinator and the horizon indicator. And still just watching the airspeed and watching the vertical speed as well, just making sure that we're not descending or as ascending too rapidly here putting us into a dangerous situation here There we go, a bit of land beneath us there. Can't really see the inside air temperature, but I'll go ahead and add some carb heat and some cabin heat there. Coming through 7,500 feet here, and it does seem that we've 
deviated off course a little bit here, so I'll go ahead and turn us back to about heading And of course I am using live weather here and I will be using that for every one of these videos just to make it as realistic as possible. Finally some blue sky, but I don't think it'll be for very long here. We are about halfway there now, so I'll go ahead and let you guys see the outside of the aircraft here. back as you can see over some pretty areas right now little breaks in the clouds letting some sunlight through we're gonna be up here for a little while and then when we hit this wall I'm gonna go ahead and descend again we'll need to anyways but just so we can see the ground a little better and maybe get eyes in the airport a little earlier
here at Chase City. The runways are 18 and 36. Time to go ahead and descend here. And just to save a bit of fuel, we'll go ahead and cut back on the throttle here. And I'm just now realizing this, that unfortunately I did forget to set the fuel consumption in Neofly. So I'll have that ready for next episode, but we just won't have that in this one. And the aircraft has been turning a little bit and has been a little... It's been a little strange here. I'll check my controls when we get on the ground here. able to see a river down there and there we go there's some terrain it does seem that we're having a bit of a downdraft here as we're pushing almost 2,000 feet per minute there we go it's kind of eased up a little bit there. We are coming in very close to the airport now. No eyes on the airport yet, but I'll be probably be able to see it here very soon. Said the airport runways are 18 and 36, so I'll be keeping an eye out for them. We may be flying over the airport once just to get a visual, but if we got eyes on it before, then we'll set up for an approach, but for now I'm just headed straight for the airport.
thought that was the airport up there, but I believe I'm mistaken. see a light over there so I'm assuming that that is the airport over there but still just headed straight for the airport adding a bit of throttle you don't want to get too low Seems like our nav for the aircraft automatically got locked in without me touching anything, which is interesting. come out a little left here I'm going to go ahead and turn off pedo heat. We don't really need it now. I'm 
Oh, there's an airport light right there. I'm just not seeing the runway yet though, which I don't really like, but I'll go ahead and put flaps out so that we can come around. Alright, I do believe there's the runway right there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut left and we'll make a little loop and then come around for an approach that way. right here. Got a bit of power through the turn. This is beautiful right here. A little out to the right of the airport, but we'll just turn a little more. Cut back the throttle a little bit. Add full mixture just in case we're going around. Go around. Landing lights are on. And we've got the runway in sight. Want to drop a little more airspeed, so I'll go ahead and put out another stage of flaps. Bring those back in. All right. Here we go. Still got a little more airspeed than I like coming in here. There's 70 knots. Almost at 60, 60, and right over the runway. Nice landing, pilot. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. It was a little low and slow coming over the numbers there, but we're on the ground now. Go ahead and make a 180 right here on the runway.
Must be glitched, cause yeah, I'm not coming any closer than that. All right, parking brake. Come on. Let's go ahead and turn off. Let's leave beacon on. And avionics master can come off. And let's go ahead and shut off the engine here. Transporter, you can open the doors and begin the disembarkation. Here's the summary of our flight. Transporter, disembarking finished. Have a nice day. Let's get out of here. So we made $4,090 off of that job. We used about 32 pounds of fuel and airport fees were $65. So yeah, I'd say a pretty good flight there. I just want to thank you guys for watching, sticking with me through this whole video. I am going to be recording episode 2 here pretty soon. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed the pattern yet, but next video should be American Truck Simulator, then Euro Truck Simulator 2. And these are for the weekends, by the way. Tuesdays will just be plane spotting, but next weekend will be American Truck Simulator, then Euro Truck Simulator 2. And then we'll most likely have episode 2. Be on the lookout for that. Um... And if you have your notifications on, then it'll appear to your notification box, and you'd have to subscribe to turn that on. Please do be safe and take care, everybody.